considering the theme of love's always there, it should for us be easy to share love with a whole variety of people in our lives, with people at, in our immediate family and people we're in relationship with, and then friends and then colleagues at work. Love should be an easy thing to share, but somehow it's not so easy. And some of us find that sustaining loving relationships is takes a bit of work. So and I was thinking of how many songs there are about heartbreak and loss and um, how people try to fill the void in so many ways. And uh, I thought of people who go drinking and partying just to fill the gap because there's they don't feel loved or a sense of love. And I, I thought about this because it's one can't just get, as I was speaking this morning, one can't get love from a machine, even though there's some software that tries to do that. I, I read about recently about a, a piece of software called Replica. And Replica doesn't see itself as a dating app. It sees itself as an artificial intelligence companion app. But a large subset of the people who use this app are users that pay to have a romance with their chatbot. So there's something missing because they're not connecting and having a relationship with the people around them. So they're relying on a chatbot to connect. And I thought you can't really get love from a machine. You can, you may love your your uh, computer or your um, cell phone, but it doesn't particularly love you back. And a machine can't radiate love. And I thought we're here to to share love at all levels. It's both physical, but more and mentally and emotionally, but more importantly, to share spiritually and to share our love in sacred space together. And so that we start sharing something of quality in sacred space. And that is love. So I thought, what does it take to do that? And we can, we have to do some work at it because it doesn't always, it isn't that easy. And yet, if you don't work at, at love, and it's not necessarily romantic love, it can be friendship, it can be uh, uh, colleagues at work, it can be many people in your lives, family. If you don't work at it, then it, it's harder to do. So there'll always, and there'll be, if you don't do that work, there will be a void in one's life if one is not doing that. So we're here to share many forms of love. And I found what is the foundation? And there are a couple of steps we can take. One of which is kindness. Being kind to the people around us is an expression of love. Showing appreciation and acceptance, as well as encouraging people and supporting them. And as we do that, those are platforms on which love can develop. But we've got to do the expression. We've got to offer that. And uh, I was thinking an example of kindness was a story I discovered about my wife, Fiona. And she was going to hospital for uh, a, a treatment. And she decided to take some cookies with her. And she took these they, the, the brand in South Africa, in Cape Town, is called Crunchy Munchy Cookies that they could eat when they had their coffee break. Yeah. And I thought, the nurses, that the nurses could eat at their coffee break. And I thought, a little act of kindness, which cost very little, and appreciation, just a small gesture, it was appreciated. And so there are many little ways that we can go about and express in small ways our love to other people, finding ways to show gratitude, show appreciation, show support, encourage them. And in doing that, we're laying a foundation for more to happen. So it's really in gathering together, and we're gathering both in a room in Colorado, I'm in my home in, in Newlands in Cape Town, and there are many online as well. But we're sharing something of quality, of spirit together. And that is also has a quality of love with it. And we are blessed thereby. We are blessed to participate in service in this way. Because it is sharing love. 
it's really sharing something that is that is an act of worship that's really beyond belief it's really an expression of our our authentic selves that we share together and when we truly switched on and engaged we are uplifted and we know what this collective love is so love is is really something that we we serve we share and because of that we are enlightened thereby and we are blessed <laughs>